Okay, good morning. We're going to go ahead and create our face uh, on our cat today. So I'm making a cat face. And I'm going to show you how to make, create the face and make the ears and also make the eyes. Okay, so I've got my ball of clay here. I'm going to put a little bit of a depression for the eyes. I'm going to pull the nose out a little bit. Look at it from the side too. Making that muzzle, I'm gonna have to add a little bit of clay right here underneath the nose where the muzzle is. So I'll add a little bit of clay here. And go ahead and smooth that in. Okay. I can make the nose outline. Oops. Right, going like this, trying just to see that nose. I'm just using this tool right here. There's lots of those in the drawer. Okay, so I can kind of see that nose now. I'm kind of getting an idea of where the face is going to be. Now, I'd keep working on that until I get it where I want it. I've got one here that I've already worked on quite a bit. And so now I'm gonna start creating the face. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm going to make an eye. And I am using this tool. Oops, let me get a little bit further away from the camera. It just looks like a little teardrop on the end or a little flattened ball on the end. That's what I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna use this side to create my dotted line. So here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna create one eye. I'm gonna to go to the other side. Try to get them to match. Okay, and then I would look at this. This one's a little bit low, so what I can do is if I make a mistake, I can just erase it, and I can try to mark it and do a better job on that. Okay, that looks a little bit better. So I can now start to use my tool to create the eye. And what I'm gonna do is, I don't have the tool up like this. It's not perpendicular. I'm laying down the tool and I'm gonna use just this little part right here on it. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna press in there and move it around. Press and move it around. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm pushing that clay back. Pushing the clay back into itself. So I can create what looks like a round socket, okay? So I'm gonna do that again over here. Just pushing it back. I'm really just making like an ice cream scoop and I'm not scooping it out. So if you can imagine, there's gonna be a little ball inside of that area that I'm making. Okay, and there we go. All right, now what I can do is I can go ahead and make the mouth and the nostrils. So I've got the nose here. The nostril kind of looks like a comma turned on its side. So I'm just taking my little toothpick. It's a kind of a giant toothpick and putting that in. Okay, to make the nostril. And even that out a little bit, there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna make the mouth. This is similar on all animals where you're just making a line. You can see on this that it's, comes down a little bit like this. And there's the basic face. Let's add ears and I'll show you how to make ears. When you look at an ear of an animal, it's kind of like a cup. Whenever I make something that needs to match, I always start out with two balls of clay and then I can make them symmetrical. 
rolling this. Then what I'm gonna do is create a triangle and I'm gonna take turns working on these so they'll be symmetrical. Okay, I'm gonna take this tool again. I'm gonna push into this. Remember, I'm taking turns with these. Okay. Then I'm just gonna use my fingers to create the ear and I'm making a little cup. Okay. I would be looking at my photographs. You can't see them right now, but I have them pulled up. So I can kind of see the shape that I'm making. Okay, and then I do a dry fit, which just means I'm putting them on there, but I'm not attaching them yet. And I would just compare that to my photo. If I needed to, you know, move them closer together, if I needed to move them further back on the head, I could do that at this point. So there is the basics of making an animal face. Thanks.